I don't know if you guys have ever been to a fast food place that has a glass, kind of like Subway or Chipotle, where they kind of make all the food right in front of you. But one of the biggest things about these types of places that the employees ask is please don't touch the glass. And before I tell you why, please be sure to subscribe. Something like 84% of you watching this video aren't subscribed. So if you hit that button, it really helps me out. So a lot of people will go to a fast food restaurant and tend to point at the items that they want, which I don't blame them at all. I mean, I used to do this as a kid all the time until one day I got yelled at by a Chipotle employee because because I was touching the glass. And you know, to this day, I still kind of hold resentment against that Chipotle employee, but now I understand completely why they didn't want me touching the glass. Cleaning that glass at Subway, and I'm sure at Chipotle and any other place like this, is such a pain in the butt. At least at Subway, we could kind of take the glass down and clean it that way, but we literally have to empty the entire front just to clean the glass. And if there are smudges on it, well, it makes the restaurant look kind of dirty for some reason. So one day, I had a customer come in that started pointing and was rubbing his hands all over the glass. And you know, I said something along the lines of like, hey, could you please not touch the glass? I'm sorry. I just really don't want to clean it. I was trying to be super nice. The dude takes one look at me and then one look back down at the sandwich and starts pointing and putting his fingers back on the glass. And one of my coworkers saw this and they were like, oh no, you're not about to do this because I just spent 10 minutes cleaning that glass and I'm not about to spend 10 minutes more. So my employee literally goes to the customer, hey, he just nicely asked you not to touch the glass. So please just don't touch it. And he looks at both of us and goes, why should I care whether or not I touch the glass? I'm just trying to get a sandwich and I want to make it easier. And so I'm like, oh man, something's about to go down. Get my popcorn out and start listening. And you know, the customer's always right. You should never fight back with customers. Like never under any circumstances. But my coworker, well, she wasn't about to let a customer be rude to her. And she said something along the lines of like, did your mama not raise you right? If somebody is asking you very kindly not to do something and you're in their home. I mean, Subway's not my home, but like, I guess it, it, it works. You should respect that person. And you know, in my mind, I'm like, yes, go off. You're hundred percent right. Right, but I don't I can't say that myself because I'm afraid and then the guy was like whatever man Like <laughs> he just kept putting his hands back on the glass and at this point I just wanted to make the sandwich to get him out of there So I could clean the glass again My coworker was having none of it She got so mad that she had to go to the back and I still had to help the customer while he was like rubbing his hands all over the glass There were smudges everywhere. So I want to hear your opinion in the comments Were we in the wrong for calling the guy out for putting his hands on the glass subscribe for a free cookie and have a beautiful day. Peace